What a lovely morning. Do I or do I not look terrific in this light? I am the very knees of the bee. <laughs> You've been on guard duty all night, Gadders. I'm waiting for a parcel, actually. A very important one. All right, more socks from your granny. Well, if you must know, it's the very latest up to the minute martial arts weaponry. I shall be the envy of every knight in Camelot and will impress the king at the next jousting tournament. <laughs> what is it then? Sword? Nope. Mace? Nope. Jaggy hammer? Nope. Morning post! A lance then. Parcel for Sarah Gadabout. That's Sir Gadabout, actually. But that's not what it says here. Well, well then, there's obviously been some mistake. <laughs> well, it's just <laughs> Miss Sir, <laughs> not Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not my mistake, chum. And you don't get the package if your name doesn't match what's written here. <laughs> Thank you, miss. I'm going to meet the lads in the courtyard. Why don't you bring it along and show it off, miss? <laughs> Man's a waste of good breathing air. Let's get the equipment set up first. We haven't got much time to do this. <laughs> right, Nanny. really going to be able to enter his dream? No, soon enough. And when are you going to tell me the rest of the secret plan? Oh, in good time, sir. Let's get into his dream first. Oh, dear. Um, it's, uh, oh, it's a great privilege to be voted Funniest King at Camelot for the uh, fifth year running. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, I I don't deserve this. The people who do deserve this are my team back at Camelot, uh, including. Actually, no, I'm the king, and I'm great, and I flipping well do deserve it. <laughs> Sim connected up. For goodness sake, Nanny, hurry up. I want to get on with ruling Camelot. I'm well aware of that, but what do you have to be before you can rule Camelot? Oh, I know. A brave, intelligent, handsome. King, sir. I know that, Nanny, but... Get on with it, sir. The machine's at speed. I can't do this all day. Anyway, I can't stand around here all evening doing nothing. People will mistake me for one of my knights. <laughs> Very amusing style. Well done. You have a future in this. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of futures, have a look over there. Oh, it's Eleonora playing some sweet girlish game. <laughs> nice for hire. Hello. Yes. We could have a battalion of our finest at your castle by sunup tomorrow. Um, what's she doing? She's running her business, sire. She's the head of a large corporation specialising in knights and things knightly. A career, if you will. A career? Would you... My daughter... My daughter's got a career? But she's a woman. You can't have a woman running Camelot. She'll have us all using coasters and such like. It'd be very unsettling. Then you'd better do something about it before it's too late. Oh, yes. We're miles more efficient than we were in the old days. You better marry her off. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. But, 
But to who? I mean, who's going to be good enough for my little girl? Well... Wait a minute. Who was she supposed to marry, Nanny? You, sir. Oh, yes, of course. What? I'm not getting married! Especially not that little squirt! It's the most ridiculous idea I've ever heard! I won't do it! I'm off. Sir! Sir! Not listening! Not listening! Once you are married, we can have the little squirt locked up in a tower for the rest of her life. You'll be heir to the throne, we'll get shot of Arthur, and then we, I mean you, will rule Camelot. No! Eleonora, I shall find you the most upstanding prince in the land. What are you doing here? I'm not here. Neither am I. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Because... Because... You're still dreaming. Am I? Oh, yes. Oh, we don't feel like a dream. Oh, but it is. It is, isn't it? Is it? Prove it. Do something you'd never be able to except in a dream. Got it! Nanny, eat a whole pile of red-hot chilli peppers. Only an idiot or someone in a dream would do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds good enough to me. And, uh, it just so happens that I have some red hot chilli peppers underneath my bed. They're, uh, they're to ward off evil spirits. It was very impressive, I must say. Wasn't it? Yes. Right, well, if I'm dreaming, I might as well enjoy myself. <laughs> we can do anything we want. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. I think I find this is my dream. <laughs> now, I think... Oh, hang on. I was going to do something important with Eleonora. Uh, I don't think so. Yes, I was, I was. What, what, what was it? Oh, yes, I was going to marry her off. Were you? Yeah, I'll get that going, and then I'll have a bit of fun. <laughs> What sort of a dream is this, Nanny? I can't even fly. <clears throat> uh, wasn't really a dream, was it? No. Sorry about the red hot chilli thing. That's all right. I rather like red hot chilli peppers. Do you? Yes. I have them on toast for breakfast every morning. Really? No! <coughs> Bravo, Will. I didn't know you had such an adventurous spirit. You could become quite a swordsman one day. Thank you very much, but I'd like to think I'm there already. Is there a code of conduct? Be bold, be brave, be fast. What are you doing, Eleanor? Just taking time out of my usual routine. <laughs> no need to go easy on me, Will. Oh, I won't. How'd you get this good? <sighs> oh, Will, you really are very good. I'm quite exhausted. William! I am shocked, shocked and ashamed. How can you? A, a strapping lad picking on a mere girl. Well, would you bully a fluffy rabbit just as quickly? Hmm? You're a baby seal? Hmm? I think not. Please don't get him into trouble, Sir Gadabout. He was merely teaching me self-defense. You put me in a difficult position, Princess. You are so right, Sir Gadabout. I now realise that I should have asked for help from a professional knight like yourself. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's just the latest state-of-the-art weaponry. Yeah. Uh, you, Princess, may wish to observe me practice professionally from a, from a safe distance, of course. Ah, <laughs> Eleonora! <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm marrying you off. I'm sorry. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, oh, you've changed again. Uh, what happened to that odd-looking suit that... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still marrying you off. No! I have a whole list of hopes and dreams. Our marriage is way, way down there at the bottom. Now, don't you try and sweet-talk me. I want to see you in a pointy hat and a veil by the end of the week. Right. That's that. Now... Now, there's something really amusing that I've always wanted to do. Get about, you come with me. This is so not right. I mean, can you see my husband agreeing to me practice with swords? Or letting me travel the world? Or any of the other things I've always dreamed of doing? Maybe there's a way... Sorry, Will. I have to think. Um, what are you doing in the food cupboard, Majesty? Just do what, get about. Oh, I'm seriously going to enjoy this. <laughs> Just you wait and see. <laughs> You'll never guess in a million years what I've always wanted to do. <laughs> never! Never! Majesty! Eleonora, I've got an idea. I'm sorry, Will. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. I need to think things through. Fair enough. I was just trying to help. Wait, Will. You don't think I look down on you, do you? <laughs> Tell me your idea. OK, listen. I disguise myself as a prince. Yes. Go on. Then you choose me to be your husband-to-be. But then I shall be cruel and heartless. I shall break off the engagement. Cruel, cruel Prince me! You will break down in the kind of disappointed tears that no father can resist. The king will feel guilty for having put his little girl through this love torment. And it will be a long time indeed before Eleonora will have to go through anything like this again. I think you've got a lot of work to do before you'll pass as a prince. Luckily, I'm a princess, and I know all about it. Let's get to work. <laughs> prince for a day. How hard could it be? Wiggly, wiggly. Wiggly, wiggly. Wiggly, wiggly. Get him I'm invisible. I am invisible. I, I can do anything. Oh dear, there's something pulling my ears and I don't know what it is because I can't see anything there. What a mystery. It, it is a mystery. Hello, boys and girls. I'm a knight. Oh, I'm so terribly frightened. A mighty wind is sweeping barefoot through my hair. Will somebody help me? I'm being serious. Pretty help for my orbs of visual reception as by a chalice, which is suspended perilously over my lap. Oh. <laughs> Where all this came from, or why he's doing it, Dad, about. But he seems to think you're the only one that can see him. Do something, or I won't be responsible for my own actions. <laughs> Whoops, a galaxy. How on earth did that happen? Oh, who did that? Do something, Dad, about. The <laughs> Majesty, um. The wedding. Yeah. Oh, yes! Knights yeah. of the Round Table, it is I, your king. I am now. Visible! Ta da! Enjoyed that bit of tomfoolery. <laughs> but seriously, um, there's going to be a wedding. I'd like sausages on sticks, I'd like cheese on sticks, I'd just bung everything on sticks, and as much confetti as you can find, because I love a wedding, so off you go. 
before I go invisible again. Not you, Gannabel. I've got a bit of a treat for you. What's happening at the castle, sir? Looks like it's all over for your plan, Nanny. They're having a little wedding without us. It's not over till it's over, sir. We're not defeated yet. Ah, ha! This'll do. What'll do, you dozy old crow? A bit of a disguise, some lessons in princely wooing, and you will get married. Get up, we'll start now. I'm really not that bothered, Nanny. King of the castle. Oh, all right. is all in the attitude. If one takes on an haughty bearing and speaks correct, it's a doddle. People will automatically assume that you are better than they are. One is a handsome prince, and one wishes it to be known that one is prepared to betroth oneself to one's daughter. Very good. OK, Will, it's nearly showtime. I'm going to the round table room, and you follow me in five minutes. And you practice your princiness. Uh, the current fashions are so boring, don't you think? Indeed, is fashion itself not made to become unfashionable? <laughs> oh, that's good, Will. A prince, Will. My apologies, Your Highness. <sighs> not happening, is it? No, sire. I think two hours of me doing this has proved conclusively that I cannot fly. No matter how much you wish things were different. Yeah, well, I'm obviously not having the flying dream. Did you say dream, sire? Do you think you're having a dream? I just want you to know, Father, that this is completely unacceptable. Despite my normally agreeable nature, I am finding it very hard to address you with a civil manner. So, I shall just sit here in silence and seethe! Come on, sir. Want to get married, Nanny? It's so simple, sir. For once, you will win. I will win. I will win. I will win. I will win. This way, sir. Careful, one's mine to you, know. Out of one's way, one's got a princess to woo. Oh, no, one doesn't. Oh, please, stop it! Well done, Nanny. Oh. Oh. For heaven's sake, Eleonora, relax. Not as if you're real, is it? What are you talking about, Father? Well, I think I can explain, Princess. One's you, you... first. No, one's first. Bridegroom here! Oh, I'm marrying the Princess. You've got to get in quick, sir. With respect, you're not exactly the stuff dreams are made of. <laughs> yes, you heard the Princess, sir. Uh... The door's that way. Well, now, now, let's be fair. I suggest we fight each other to the death. When it gets married, then we all go to the reception. Yeah. But princes can't fight. We, you know, one might get damaged. Uh, so one suggests that one's champions fight for ones. And by the way, if one's not got a champion, then one's not a real prince. That is so unfair. I don't have a champion. Oh, well, looks like... One wins, then game over. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute, you. I'm the king. I'm in charge. Um, get about. Why don't you have to be this young man's champion? I mean, he doesn't know you. He might say yes. I would be honoured, sire. 
I have a weapon so mighty, he won't stand a chance! <laughs> Will, my future now rests in the hands of the worst knight in Camelot. Watch. I can. Gadabout's about to get pasted. <laughs> oh, come on, let's get it over with before I know. Mm. Only a miracle will save me now. Prepare your weapon. Uh, just a minute. <laughs> I've got a plan. Once the joust starts, you cause a distraction. How? I don't know, just do something to grab the limelight for a few seconds. You'll enjoy that. Less of the cheek. You're only a prince for one day, you know. What are we going to do now, Nanny? Spend your life in a dungeon, won't you, Father? 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 Um, perhaps it uh, will be for the best in letting wake in his own bed. I don't think your father would like to know that anything which happened today was anything but a dream. Hmm? You mean he thought he was... Uh, mm. oh. Take me on, sir. Oh. So he thought he was dreaming all the time. Pretty embarrassing, huh? <laughs> well, hang on a minute. If he was awake and thought he was dreaming, what does he think is happening now? I don't really want to think about that one, Will. By the way, thank you for saving me. Well, I... Uh... Your true friend. Running. 